In this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a time field in Salesforce. I'll go over how to set everything up and how to move it around on the page afterwards. Welcome to the channel, my name is Nick. Thank you ever so much for giving this video a watch. Just before we get into the video, if you need any help at all setting up Salesforce for your business, check out my website below. We would be delighted to help. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how to create a time field inside of Salesforce. Now for this example video, I'd like to create a time field on my opportunities area. So I'm just gonna head over to opportunities, go to an example opportunity. And what I'd like to do is create a time field that allows me to track a particular time, okay? And that will be from the very start, so first thing in the morning to the very 2300, um, not 55 or whatever it is, 45, 2345. Um, so that would give you the whole span of a time in a 24 hour clock okay so in order to do that we just need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner and head over to our setup page now from setup what we need to do is go to platform tools go to objects and fields and then go to object manager and then from here as we are adding this field to our opportunities we need to search for the opportunities object however if you are adding this time field to another area of your system just search for whatever is applicable okay so opportunities is what I like to search for and then go ahead and select on the opportunity object then from here we want to go to fields and relationships and then as you can see we've got all of the different fields on our opportunities page we want to go ahead and add a new field so we want to go and press the new button on the right hand side here and create a custom field now we're going to be presented with this screen here this is asking us to go to the salesforce classic the back end of salesforce has not caught up with the front end which was on salesforce lightning it's not a problem just press the click here to open this page in salesforce classic and then will be presented with this screen now as you can see there are a few different custom field types the one we are looking for is the time field as we discussed so it's all the way at the bottom here just above url go ahead and select that option and go ahead and then press the next button the bottom right hand corner and then from here all we need to do is give our field a name so i'm just going to call this example time field but call it whatever you like whatever is applicable to the purpose of the field and then you can add some additional things like a description or help text as well just to guide people on what this field is for and we can also set this field as being required so if we select this option that means that any time someone creates a new opportunity record they must fill out this particular field in order to save it, it will not let them save this field without information in the field okay so that is very useful in some instances and not particularly useful in others so it's up to you whether you'd like to use this and then i would also recommend just auto adding this particular field to a custom report type so leave this selected and then finally we can define a default value so if you'd like to add a default value for this particular field you can do but this also allows us to create formulas as well so i'm not going to go into too much detail on this particular uh, particular area but it's very very useful so once you're happy, just go ahead and press the next button and then we can define our field level security. So you can see here, we've got all of the different profiles within our Salesforce system. Let's say we want, for example, the standard user to be able to see this particular field, but we do not want them to be able to edit it. We can go ahead and tick the read only option, but they, as you can see, that it's visible because it's ticked, and, but it's also read only because it is ticked. If we do not want the standard user to be able to see this field at all, we can just untick them from visible so they can't see it and they can't edit it either okay i'm just going to leave it as visible to all and once you're happy press the next button again and as you can see you just need to select the layouts that you'd like to add this particular field to given that we've only got one layout for the opportunities area or the opportunities object i'm just going to leave this selected and go ahead and press the save button now congratulations you've now created your time field if i head back to the opportunities area just refresh the page you'll be able to see that our example time field has now been added we can press the pencil button and we can go ahead and add the time options as you can see we've got 0, 0 100 to 23 45 as i said at the start of the video so you can go ahead and add that you can also change it to be whatever you like as well so let's say i want it 22 47 and i also want to add the seconds as well so 20 seconds for example you can go ahead and save that if you would like to just to add additional information one additional thing i would like to show you is if you are not happy with the positioning of this particular field on the page layout i'm just going to show you how to move it from this area to let's say the additional information area so if we go to the back to the opportunity fields area 
We then want to go to the build on the left hand side, as you can see, use the customize button and go to the drop down menu. And we want to find the object that we are dealing with. So in this instance, it's our opportunities object, use the drop down menu and we want to go to page layout. So go ahead and select the page layout option. And then we just want to go ahead, go to the opportunity layout and press the edit button. And then from here, you will see an identical match to what our opportunities page looks like. You can see here we've got our example time field that we've just created. All we need to do to reposition it is select it, drag it and drop it to the area that we would like to move it to. So for example, the additional information like we discussed, and then just scroll up, press the save button and this layout will now be saved. If we head back to our opportunities area, press the refresh button, you can see that that particular field has now been moved to the additional information area. Hopefully this video was of value and I will see you in a moment's time. Hopefully you're now familiar with how to create a date field inside of Salesforce and move it around on the page. If you have enjoyed the video or found it at all useful, please consider giving it a like, possibly even subscribing. If you have any additional questions at all, you're more than welcome to drop a comment below or you can email me as my details are in the description below and I will do my absolute best to answer any questions you do have. Thank you ever so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.